This initial research attempts to explain fish's feeding patterns based on the stimulation of olfactory receptors. With fish being primitive organisms and having a primitive sense of smell, they make excellent research organisms. A fish's sense of smell is very different from our perception of smell in that the sense of smell is more like a sense for the presence of food. Here we can see the fish's brain in the cipher olfactory reception. These olfactory chemoreceptors found on the olfactory bulb open and close in response to specific concentrations of amino acids, which will change based on the presence or absence of food. This food profile, or the availability of specific amino acids, can and will vary. With the goal of stimulating fish feeding, it is important to understand which profile best stimulates fish. In your typical fish meal, there are higher concentrations of charged amino acids compared to uncharged, which tend to occur in meatier foods, while higher concentrations of uncharged amino acids tends to occur in more vegetable-based food sources like soy milk. This uneven distribution of charged versus uncharged amino acids is the driving force that stimulates fish to feed. These primitive olfactory receptors detect the presence of food by binding to these amino acids and certain profiles are more stimulatory than others. Interestingly, each olfactory receptor protein has two binding sites, one for neutral amino acids and one for charged amino acids. What has been observed is when a neutral amino acid concentration is higher compared to charged amino acids, more neutral amino acids bind to the available lone receptors, meaning these sites are unbound by a charged receptor. And then this leads to a stimulatory response, causing fish to search for food. As you can see from the animation, binding of a neutral amino acid stimulates a response illustrated by the protein channel opening and allowing sodium to enter into the cell membrane, which results in an action potential, and hence stimulation. Similarly, if the concentration is higher of charged amino acids, this too will result in stimulation as charged amino acids are binding to that lone charged receptor site. Surprisingly, when concentrations of charged and uncharged amino acids are equal, stimulation ceases to exist as modeled by the animation here. Simply put, only one type of amino acid, either charged or uncharged, can be bound to the olfactory protein receptor and result in fish starting to search for food. Knowing that stimulation occurs via high concentrations of either charged or uncharged amino acids, the ultimate goal is to elicit a response by reaching appropriate stimulatory mixtures. Again, having relatively equal concentrations of charged and uncharged amino acids has a canceling effect.